In this video we're going to talk about lists. In order to make things uh, interesting, I have created in the code section three variables that we're going to use uh, at one time or another. And let's take a look first at what a list looks like, how to create a list. A crea we can create a list with an open square bracket followed by a, a set of elements like numbers, like uh, 12 and 3 and 4.5. We can even put a string in there like hi there. We can also put other kinds of information like true and false. We'll put a true in there and that between the square brackets is a list of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements. What are we going to do with that? Well we're going to put that into the variable A and that's why we created the global. And now if we print out A we'll see that it contains those. What can we do with the list? Well we can certainly count its elements. There are a, a good number of net logo reporters, functions, that can work on lists. One of them is length. So if we print the length of A, we should get five because we put one, two, three, four, five elements in A and there it gives us five. Not only can we find the number of elements in A, but we can get any single element from A that we want. We'll get a copy of the very first element of A. That, in, uh, in when we're talking about lists and uh, sequences like this in computer science, typically positioning starts at zero. So the very first element is in position zero. And to find that, we'll print out item zero of A, which will give us back 12 because there is A. And if we ask for position 0, 1, 2, 3, position 3 of A, we should, we'll get back the string hi there. Now, let's see A again. Um, we can ask whether uh, there are more items. Let's try to print out item 7 of A, which doesn't exist, and of course we get a runtime error because there is no position 7. All right. Now we can actually add to the beginning of this list if we want using a function called fput, f for first, and um, it asks us what do we want to put as the first element of the list insert as the first element of the list, uh, we want to put uh, the number 100 and we want to put it into A. Now we've created a new list which has 100 as its first element and all the rest of A at its, uh, at, at its end. What are we going to do with that? Well, we're going to put that into B. And now if we print A, there's the old A, but if we print B, there's B with the 100 at the beginning of it. So F put puts it in, puts the element uh, 100 at the beginning of this list, creates a new list, which then we need to do something with, and so we put it back into B. L put with uh, with an L puts the element last. So here we're going to actually change B. We're going to set B. L put let's say the word last back into B. So this part creates a new list with last being inserted as the last element of B and then we take that list and we put it back into B thereby modifying B and if we print B now we see the word last over here and 100 over there. Uh, there are many things that we can do with lists. If we're interested in documentation about lists, we can go to the NetLogo user's manual, which is here, and we can go down to the programming guide and to the area here on lists. And there's plenty of information about how to create lists, lots of functions uh, that control and summarize lists, some of them quite powerful. We can also go to the NetLogo dictionary and go down to all the, the list functions over here. This is a fraction of the list functions, not all of them are there, 
um, and there are many of them. So for instance, if we are interested in this list, uh, let's take a look at a list here, set C to be the list one to the list one, two, three. We can actually print the sum of this list. Now C is that list, and that gives us six. We can even print the mean of that list. And that's uh, the, the mean is the average, and that's two. Um, if the list were not in order, like three, six, one, five, we can sort the list. Notice that now we've, we've printed out a sorted version of C. C itself has not changed. Um, where else can we create lists? Well, NetLogo has a wonderful facility for creating lists from the properties of uh, turtles and patches. So let's create, let's say, 10 turtles and set them around on the screen. Um, now <clears throat> we can ask for all the who numbers of these turtles. We know that if we created 10, uh, the who numbers should be from 0 to 9, but they may not be acquired in the uh, increasing order. So let's print the who, who of our turtles. And we made a mistake. That should be turtles. And there they are. Notice that they're all there, except they're not necessarily in order. So we can print the sorted version of the who of our turtles. And there they are. Um, we can do a large number of things with lists. Lists can not only include all sorts of ordinary uh, values like numbers and strings and uh, truth values, but they can also include other lists. For instance, we can create 1 and 2, but it, we can also uh, put in another list. And so we have, we now have a list that contains a number, a number, another list, and a number. Now notice, however, these are the elements of the top level list of A. One, two, three, four. There are really four elements in A. So if we print the length of A, we get four. If we print out the item two, because this is this list is in position two of A, we should get that sublist that was there. There should be an exercise below this video. Try to do it.